in this video i want to show you how you can easily convert figma designs to elementor and if you have followed me for a while as well you know that i don't even like designing my website design from scratch i love to pick ideas from other people's work and just bring them into my figma designs and then i can continue from there so that's me that's how things work for me so right now let's try to do a design here as usual let me just bring in a design for the purpose of this example let's use apple.com uh let's copy this so let's come back to our figma designs and then let's come here let's come to plugins let's come to html to design this is a fantastic plugin that will let you easily clone any website and bring them as figma designs this is a free plugin really you can use it but it's just quite very limited uh, you need to go pro for you to have full access to whatever this plugin can do fantastic plugin i've done lots of tutorials around this plugin in time past i've used it in many of my videos before we just click the import button just with a click of a button uh one of the things we have to do here is very very important uh, i used to let people know when you're using this plugin that you can choose your viewpoint it gives you access to mobile tablet tablet a laptop view and also a desktop view so you can take all of these things to have five different responsive layout uh, cloned into figma designs that's fantastic you can choose a light or a dark theme one thing that is very very important especially for all of these plugins that will help you literally clone your figma designs to wordpress or to elementor they would require that you put this in auto layout and that's very very fantastic instead of you going into your frames or going to your design one after the other to auto layout everything so you just have to click this and you have everything auto layout that's fantastic just like i told you i love to just do things the easy way right so I close this and i'll hit the import button and let's see the magic that this plugin can do oh great so we have this uh done uh let's close this yeah apparently some uh front are missing and uh we don't have that on our system here but the good thing about this plugin is that you can download this front and then install this so you can see how to install this front but i'll not be doing that in this tutorial uh, so i'll close this plugin we are done this plugin has been able to do a very good job for us so you can see this is apple landing page here in figma designs so literally i can just pick up this and then rework this into whatever design i want to do so we already have a design here with full auto layout that is ready for us to clone into elementor so talking about elementor and converting to elementor there's a tool here called uikemi.com this tool promises to convert figma designs to 100 percent editable wordpress website in elemental and also with gutenberg so however gutenberg is still uh coming soon it's still in progress but elemental is ready so i just want to experiment with these and let's see what we can do so if you scroll down you see it says a lot of things and there are lots of uh, widgets that they have here that works well with elemental and that's from figma designs to elemental uh, so quite a number of them and this is quite very impressive and also some also in coming soon mode so you can see all these ones basically are in coming soon so if you keep scrolling down and down and down you see a lot of things you can come to their website here and read they've got pricing plan as well so you can see they've got free and they've got agency which is about 199 dollars for the free basically elemental conversion you can see gutenberg is coming soon uh, design export just 10 one user starter templates just 20 elemental widget free elemental widget so you see your website is locked in the free elemental widget but if you want to get both free and paid elemental widget then you need to go pro so basically i think that's the that's the difference between the free and the paid and also in terms of how you can use it so you can come down here you can e start for free and then if you e start for free you'll be brought to a checkout page where you can easily just check out with your username or your password or your gmail or with facebook 
and then it will bring after you do that it will bring you to a purchase confirmation page like this and then you would be giving uh, a license key like this so you can see I did check out for free here uh, so that's it that's exactly what that's the plugin we want to use so let's come to figma designs here and then let's come to our plugins you in your own case if you have not used this plugin before you can just come to manage plugin and search for UI Kemi and then you can run the plugin uh if you run the plugin it will ask you for a license key you can paste your license key there or you can just it get a license key from here it take you to uh where i just mentioned so you don't necessarily need to go to their website to get their keys so that's it for using this so let's let's try to experiment with elemental here and let's see what we can do so it says that no frame is selected so I'll select this frame since this is the frame I want to use. So you can see I have my frame here and Elementor is ready to go. And then I can just click convert to Elementor. Is your Figma files ready for Elementor? Uh, have you designed this in auto layout? I mentioned this earlier for responsiveness. I have removed on use frame for better for performance. I have used Figma guidelines, whatever, whatever. And for Elementor, you have installed and activated Elementor. You have a Flexbox container on. That is usually on by default, except you turn that off. But I can show you exactly how to check if that is on on your Elementor. And then I have sufficient uh, PHP execution time value set for image to import and all of those things. And then you can just read yes, and then you can convert to Elementor now this is ready here i can just hit the download button and then i can see that a json file here has been downloaded for us i have an elementor page here i just can come back to the back end of this website let's come to elementor here let's come to settings uh, let's come to futures and let's scroll down a little 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 so you can see flexbox here is turned on by default but you may just want to activate this and then save changes so i'll just come to my elementor page here i can come to templates here i can come to my template i can click the upload button and then i would bring my json file into this uh one in json file may be on save i might just did not show me this again in case you want i can just hit the continue button so we have this done so we can see our template is here so what we can do is to hit the insert button okay so we have our import ready so we can see some alignment issues already but i think we should just uh close this up and let's see what this look like in our front end okay not bad let's see okay alignment issues here with this image this is perfect this is perfect i think another issue here uh the same thing with the images i don't know what's up with the images here uh okay all right so not bad i think the issues here are issues we can easily fix up inside elemental but i think this is not a bad one in my opinion all right so if we scroll let's check again okay for this uh image here if we click this we can see the image here uh, let's come to our style let's see what we can do with this instead of this to cover can this just contain let's see so you can see super simple easy fix for that uh, i think the same thing for uh these two as well so the issues here are things that we can just easily fix inside elemental but this generally in my opinion is a good job all right I think the same thing for these two should suffice. All right, that's it. I'll just change this to Elemental Canvas, and then I'll update this page. 
okay good uh update is done i don't know why this is taking forever to open up but i can just uh view the page regardless in a new tab so let's see what we have perfect we have apple.com landing page here and this is beautiful we can make this better we can rework this i think there's still some alignment issues here this thing is not in the center uh but these are the things that can be worked on. So this is not a bad clone, really. So you can go try this out, experiment with this, do some rework if there need to be, which I guess there should be. That's how it is. Expect some alignment issues, expect some bugs, expect some elements not to convert. Just rework those things by yourself inside the Elementor. And especially if you are using your free plan, which is limited to some free elemental widgets. I'll also see if I can get access to their pro and just experiment with that if I'll get a better clone. Trust me when I do that, I would share that video here on this channel. And that's my time for this tutorial. I'll see you in another one and until then, peace out.